Hello, Can Cream here, CC for short, and today I would like to talk to you about Princess Twilight. And I got the royal earrings, <laughs> the necklace, the ring, then I got the crown and pose. Here I am, pretty, pretty Princess Gwendolyn, and the ruler of the entire universe. Or to be exact, is she really ready to be a princess? We're fairly deep in season four, and thus far, I remain unconvinced. Which isn't to question the judgment of our good and benevolent Princess Celestia. I would never say anything to contradict our Princess of the Sun. Certainly nothing that would cause for imprisonment deep in the inner crofts of Canelot Castle, where it's always so dark and so cold. Anyway, as we continue further into season four, I find myself asking more and more whether or not Twilight is really stepping up to the levels of responsibility handed to her. As a princess, I do not think it is unfair to hold her to a higher level of responsibility, considering that one day soon she may be residing over her very own kingdom. There is a standard that needs to be met, and I cannot help but judge her at the level of someone befitting her station. At the beginning of the season, with episodes like Princess Twilight Sparkle and Castlemania, she actually performs quite well in both cases, acting as a peacekeeper with a calm and practical demeanor, much like a ruler should. When the sudden weight of responsibility is thrust upon her, Twilight pulls from deep within herself and meets the challenge. While she may have failed in calming the citizens of Canterlot, she did manage to give the Royal Guard a sense of purpose, keeping order in a situation that could have devolved into chaos. And just one episode later, she takes a situation that is utter chaos and fixes it, while it may have been in a heavy-handed manner, there are some jobs that just simply call for a sledgehammer to drive a nail. But it's after this that she really starts to backslide. And for my two good examples, I'm able to call to mind two rather egregious ones. Daring Don't and Bats. After Castlemania, it's almost as if Twilight forgets she's a princess. While I both understand and respect the fact that Twilight does not want to be given special treatment among her friends, remember that during the events of Luna Eclipsed, even Luna herself asked not to be approached as a princess, but as just another pony. The difference is that after the celebrations were over, Luna returned to her royal duties. She knew at what point it was okay to be a pony, and when she needed to be the ruler. Twilight, it seems, has yet to grasp this distinction, the point of neglecting her newfound royalty. I am honestly hoping there comes a point where Twilight is faced with a situation where she has no choice but to stop being the main six's friend and start being their princess. Frankly, she needs to learn the responsibility. And exactly what do I mean by that? Well, let's start with Daring Don't. At one point, Twilight just sits at a window and watches as Daring Do takes on three thugs by herself, so wrapped up in the show that she forgets that it's real, and she's watching one of her subjects literally being assaulted. Granted, the rest of the cast was there too, and for characters like Rainbow Dash, I can kind of give a pass to their actions. The episode had done a fine job of playing up her fangirling so hard that I could believe that she would momentarily forget what she was seeing was the real thing. And you know what? For Unicorn Twilight, I could have passed along the same grace. But as I said, as a princess, Twilight needs to be judged far more harshly. And her lack of action in a time of crisis does not bode well for her. Do you think Celestia would have stood there and watched that shit? Hell no! She would have popped in there and busted some heads with her plus 10 Warhammer of Harmony. It is unforgivable for Twilight to have failed to do the same, not when she's already been shown that she can and will step into the line of fire for others. And as for Bats, I'm sorry, but Twilight's friends need to stop letting her try to fix their problems with magic. For someone who is supposed to embody its elements, she sure does fuck it up a lot. Which is something I could forgive a season 1 or 2 Twilight for, but Alicorn Princess Twilight? No. No, 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 no. Turning one of your friends into a freaking vampire is inexcusable. She has learned nothing from Swarm of the Century, Lesson Zero, or Magical Mystery Cure. On several occasions, Twilight's magic transmuted a bad situation into a disastrous one. And to this day, it does not occur to her to examine the possibility of other options before she starts firing off spells that she just learned that day from a book. Ugh. <sighs> Look, maybe it sounds like I'm being a bit harsh. I understand that Twilight has been put into a situation where she was not and could not be prepared for. But I ask that you do what I'm doing right now. Picture Twilight Sparkle in the place of Cadence, or even Celestia. 
with an entire kingdom and all of its innermost workings that go into running and maintaining that spread out before her. Put aside your own personal feelings about her character and look at her as she is today, right in this moment. Ask yourself, is she really ready for the responsibility? Considering that she's either not respected enough or even puts out enough of an air of regality to hail a freaking cab should give you some indication of how far Twilight still has to travel. I get that there has to be a learning period, and that at one point even Celestia was not the Celestia we know today, but the troubling pattern I keep seeing is that Twilight is not making the strides to face these challenges. If anything, she seems to be steadily declining away from them, almost as if she's actively avoiding the responsibility. And that leads me to question how much she really wants the title of princess at all. And if that's true, if she does not want to have it, how well can she really perform in its duties? It's not a happy question, but perhaps one still worth asking. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to retreat to my I've pissed off Princess Celestia again fallout shelter until the heat dies down. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe to see more, post your own thoughts below, and as always, stay pony my friends.